progress to mods, pro touring, tributes, replicas, copies, whatever. They used to be called hot rods. And it seems there's at least one shop in every county striving to pump modern ability under old sheet metal and sell the result as something new. Write a big enough check to companies like Detroit Speed, which is, for some reason, in North Carolina, and you'll get a 69 Camaro much faster than a new one. Sign up with Icon 4x4, and that Los Angeles company will create a hyper detailed version of, well, almost anything you like. Then there's the subject here, climbing out of legacy classic trucks in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, a recreation of the beloved four-wheel drive Napco Chevrolet pickup produced in small numbers during the 1950s. That's Napco as in Northwestern Auto Parts Company, a Minneapolis firm established in 1918 and well known for supplying four-wheel drive components during World War II. With the war over, and at a time when most OEMs weren't yet building their own 4x4 pickups, the company put its expertise into building conversions. Most famously, Napco was selling kits that upgraded a Chevy or GMC half-ton truck to four-wheel drive. When GM introduced its own factory-built 4x4 pickups for 1960, Napco's conversion business dried up. Throw in a few rounds of corporate shenanigans, and eventually Napco was absorbed into the Dana Corporation and the brand died. I called Dana about the brand, sighs legacy founder and owner Winslow Bent. No one there seemed to know. Such is the fate of all things to fade into obscurity. Well, not that obscure. There's a cult that has arisen around those Napco conversions. First because they're mechanically interesting and second because jacked up GM advanced design, 1947 to 1955, and task force, 1955 to 1960, trucks are spectacular looking pieces of mid-century industrial design. Four legacies bent, whose company made its truck bones reimagining and re-engineering early Dodge power wagons, reviving the Napco legacy would be from a legacy point of view and legacy-wise, a good business for a legacy's expansion of its legacy. In the foothills that climb out of Southern California's Ojai Valley, the legacy Napco looks as if it sprang naturally from the landscape. At least putatively a 1957 Chevrolet 3100 stepside pickup. The gloss of its paint, athleticism of its stance, and 33-inch tall Toyo tires all belie that there's some magic at work. Impressions matter, and this truck is so gorgeous you can practically hear your pupils dilating at first sight. But there are some visual nitpicks worth making. First, the lack of chrome badges leaves the truck looking a bit stark and anonymous. It's missing the subdued jewelry that distinguished the Task Force design as both a part of its and one of the best truck designs of that time. Also, Legacy equipped this truck with a Borla Corvette style, center mounted. For <laughs>